what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? As you saw in the title, I will not be talking about Donald Trump this year at all. You know that's a lie, right? <laughs> Ain't no damn way I'm gonna let this sucker make it. I'm gonna get on his ass every chance I get. I'm not letting him off the hook. He's one of the worst people in the world. I have to do this on behalf of humanity. So, in my effort to do my part in assisting my fellow Americans in exposing a pure walking devil, I shall share this story with you of the Donald Trump New Year's Eve party. This dude is the president of the United States, right? So he throws this party every year at his golf club, Mar-a-Lago. Right? And he charges $600 for a ticket. If you're a member of the golf club, if you're not a member, the cost is $750 for your guest. This is up 14% from last year. Now, annual fees for this golf club membership is $200,000. Y'all let that sink in. This is up. This is double from last year's price when he became president. See, at the beginning of the year last year, he they doubled the price because now he's president and now this club is now more prestigious and if you want access to the president, then you pay this price and you can get preferential treatment. Some people will say, well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with him having a party and charging? Obviously, if you're asking that type of question, you know absolutely nothing about politics. You don't even know anything about just regular business, period. This is a conflict of interest. You got the president of the United States running around throwing parties, putting price tags on the parties. Now, if I'm one of those people who can afford to get into the party, then, and I want access to the president, I want to share my policies, I want to talk politics, I want to slide some money in his pocket for a deal, because, you know, he take deals all the time. You know, he wrote a book called Art of the Deal. So he do deals all the time. He was doing deals with former presidents. That's why he know the game. That's how he knows how to play the game so well. Because he really was a, a player well before he became the president. A lot of people say they voted for him because he wasn't a politician. If this sucker wasn't a politician, I don't know who was. He, he's been a politician for a long time. He just put himself in position to become the ultimate politician. He like, man, you know what? I'm going to cut the middle man out. I'll just run for president. I ain't got to grease these suckers palms anymore. So he's been using the uh, American dollar. <clears throat> he's been using uh, America's budget as a personal piggy bank. Even the way he did the tax break, where he gave all the breaks to all of his rich friends. All of these people who got suckered into voting for him, none of those people are benefiting from that tax bill. Even the middle class people who thought, oh, you know, he's a president, he's rich, he's wealthy, that's what I want to be. So if I vote for him, then maybe I can get over the hump. It ain't for you. That's what they don't understand. It's never been for you. It's never been for them. It is for Donald Trump and all of his rich friends. His rich friends who was at that party last night who could pay that 
$600 tab and they have their friends come in and pay that $750 tag. That party was for them. It's not for you. It's never have been for you. That $200,000 fee, that annual fee to be a member of that club. How many Donald Trump supporters do you really think can afford to be a member at that club? He's telling you who his buddies are, who he's kicking it with, who's in and who's out. And if you can't afford that ticket, you're out. What makes you think that it's okay to support somebody like that? What's in, what is in your mind that makes you think that, okay, this guy can't relate to me. He's not for me. Nothing he does benefits me, but because he's successful, I'm going to, he's business, business wise, he's successful. I'm going to support him and I'm going to ride for him. I'm going to blindly support anything he does, all of his policies. He can do no wrong. It's okay that I'm poor. Or I'm struggling. Or I ain't not about nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't got nothing going on, but I just love to see him talk about how he's going to have it going on for me, how he's going to look out for me. What is wrong with you motherfuckers? Something is wrong, man. Something's got to be wrong up there. You got to see a doctor about this. It's okay. This is the year of people coming out of the closet when it comes to mental health. It's okay. We all have mental health crises from time to time. So we get it. You're okay. You're going to be all right. Get some help. It's okay. It's okay to say, I was wrong. I had it wrong. This dude is a crook. Everything about him tells me he's a crook. Everything I've seen him do, from even just stealing the presidency of the United States, the dude is a crook. I got to stop being in denial. If it was me, right? I've had situations where I've supported people and or I just maybe gave somebody the benefit of the doubt. And it turns out that they wasn't who they said they were, right? Now, my common sense tells me that I don't want to be fooled. You know, that person inside of me that, that, that wants to support somebody and wants to believe that this person is who they say they are and that they're decent. You know, I want to give a person a chance. I want to give a person the benefit of doubt. I want to think good about a person before I think something bad about them. I, I want to see the good in the person first, right? Until they prove me wrong. Once somebody proves me wrong, I cannot be in denial. I have to accept it. No matter what, no matter how much I love this person, how much I care about this person, how much I've invested in this person emotionally, I got to say, you know what? I ain't no damn fool. And I don't give a damn who he is. I don't care what I said in the beginning. Right now, from what I know right now, this dude is rotten to the core. This dude is a thief. This dude is a crook. This dude is human waste. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Why y'all are, are, are refusing to see that? And I'm, I was about to say why you can't see it. You can see it. You just don't want to admit it out loud. And I'm sure many of you have these conversations privately talking to the Trump supporters. I'm sure you have these conversations quietly. And you be like, man, this guy, this dude's embarrassment. Man, this guy is getting harder and harder to defend. I know you have those conversations. I know you have to have those conversations. If you don't even have those conversations, then you're really, really stupid. I mean, you're really stupid. There's something really wrong with you. You need help. Go and get checked out. Because the decisions that you make, when you blindly support somebody like that, you tell the rest of society that it's okay. It's okay to be this type of way. And then people go about their life acting this type of way, or acting a certain type of way that is inconsistent with dignity, with class, with just just, just being righteous, it's, it's, a, it's a bad look for you. So let 
2018 be the year that you decide that I'm not going to be in denial about anything. Not just Donald Trump, but anything, period. Don't be no damn fool all your life, man. I mean, that don't hurt to be a fool like, like looking into the mirror. Like, cause you gotta look, when you look in the mirror, you gotta think about who do you see? Who do I see when I look in that mirror? Is it really okay to look in the mirror and be like, I'm a damn fool? Is that really okay? Is that who you really want to be? You want to live your life like that? You want to die like that? You don't want to die with dignity? You don't have some respect on your name when you check out of here? You know, the only reason why Donald Trump became president was to get more money. It was all about profit for him. It had nothing to do with making America great again. You have to be a really pitiful person, a class A loser, to want to hang out with Donald Trump on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is all about progress. It's about doing better the current year than you did the previous year. You have to have a really rotten year to look at Donald Trump and say, I want to hang out with him and consider that to be an upgrade. In other news, as far as the menu, they said that on the menu, they had double quarter pounders with cheese, all you can eat. And Donald Trump for dessert had a, a filet of fish. So, there it is. Y'all have a good one, man. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.